do you still have confidence in the Prime Minister and yes, the Chancellor? Yes, I do. And uh, I fully support the tax cuts. I fully support the other changes which the government is proposing. And the big question now for the Scottish Government, the SNP, is whether they replicate those um, changes. It's likely this will see a faster growing economy, a shallower recession or even no recession at all compared with what was previously predicted. And he wants Holyrood ministers to make similar tax changes. If they decide to widen the tax gap between Scotland and the rest of the UK, we will see poorer economic performance here in Scotland and as a consequence, falling tax revenues. The gap between what's paid by the highest earners in Scotland and those in the rest of the UK would widen to six pence in the pound. And that raises the possibility that some of those high earners might choose to move elsewhere. And the Scottish Government has now to make decisions about tax. Um, there have been some warnings that high earners would move to England if Scotland retained the high top rate of tax. Do we know how likely that is to happen? Uh, the honest answer is no, we don't know. This is all unprecedented. What we do know is that if you get a country, a uh, nation state, where there's free movement across a border and you get diverging tax rates, the United States being one example, you do find people behaving uh, as a result in ways that try to minimise their tax affairs. Or some people may choose not to come to Scotland because they perceive it as a high tax environment, not just on income tax, but if they want to buy a big house here, the tax is very much higher uh, as well. It doesn't take many high earners to make quite a big difference. A sixth of Scottish income tax revenue comes from people earning over £150,000.